Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to have a quick look at how to set up the publishing stuff inside Microsoft Expression Web. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up Expression Web here. And now from here what you would do is you'd click on Site. Um, let's just make this a new site to start off with. So I'm just going to say I'll have a one-page site and I'll put it on my desktop. So we go desktop here, we go Open. End of that, let's go test. Okay, so now we have our site here. I'm just putting a simple H1, we'll go test page, and let's run that guy up. Okay, so we know that it now works. So, what we do from here is go to site, and now we go down to publishing settings. From here, we wish to add the site. So, in this case, I'm just going to go to here, it is FTP. So you've got to keep that FTP there, and it's ftp.coastan, seancostain.com. The directory, uh, use your student number, so for example, um, S262, whatever. I'm going to use the directory called test. Now, the username is student at seancostain.com. The password is the once inside the notes at Learning of Griffith and leave everything else and just click on add and click on OK. Now once you've done that to update your site you can go to publish all files. So what this now does is it now starts to initiate the connection between Expression Web and the server in Florida and once it gets there it should um, actually update the file. If there's anything in there, like as you can see there's files already in that particular folder, I can just overwrite them by clicking like that. Okay so that should there we go, it's all done. So now let's load this up. And from here, let's go to student.seancostain.com. That should then give us a list of all the student numbers. And we scroll down, and there's test if I click on that now. And that's the page that we just wrote. There you go, that's how you update it.